Hello everybody, this is And, and welcome to my first video tutorial for www.utube.com. My first tutorial is going to be on Cam Studio. Let's go to Mozilla Firefox. Let's go up here to Google Search. C-A-M-S-T-U-D-I-O. And it's the first thing that comes up here, Cam Studio free screen recording software. The website is camstudio.org. And about halfway down, you see the download links. Cam Studio, Cam Studio 2.0.exe. Cam Studio 2.0.exe, save file. When you save the file, an installer will go to wherever you save your files double click on the installer it's just a very typical installer and it will install this program cam studio open it up you'll get a window that looks like this it won't have all this stuff because this is um, statistics for while you're recording and I'm actually recording my tutorial with cam studio right now you want to go to options video options and you see Microsoft video one a lot of people might say that's not the best choice for a video codec I'm using it because I want to start with the highest quality possible and then I will change the codec in the future. I will convert it. I like quality 75 because before 75 it starts to look pretty bad and after 75 it's hard to tell the difference. So 75 is my happy medium for quality. I set every keyframe 200 frames. I capture frames every 50 milliseconds the playback rate is 20 frames a second and don't even mess with the auto adjust in fact I don't even think you can no it won't even let me click it okay the next thing you want to do is configure your audio so go down to options click on record audio from microphone go to audio options for microphone make sure you're at 22 khz kilohertz mono 16 bit compressed format go choose compressed format MPEG layer 3 and you want to do 32 kilobit per second 2250 Hertz mono 3 kilobyte per second okay it should say 4000 bytes per second if you did it right don't worry about any of this stuff okay now enable auto pan that's how the camera is following my mouse cursor all around the screen when I do this that's auto pan then go ahead and uh, go to program options and I like to go to hide flashing rectangle during recording otherwise there's this really ugly rectangle and you'll see it you'll want to hide it too and then go to cursor options I like to show the cursor I like to use a custom cursor and you can select from all kinds of different cursors and let's say I like this pencil so use that as your cursor you can also choose one from a file you can make your own icons I'll show you how to do that in a following video tutorial in an upcoming video tutorial um, you could also use the actual cursor which is just the normal mouse cursor then you go to cursor highlight I like to highlight the cursor so that the area around the cursor is highlighted. Um, you can change the size of the highlight. You can make it a circle, an ellipse, a square, or a rectangle. I like a circle, so I just leave it like that. I go to color. I choose the color that I want, which is this blue. OK. And what you see is what you get. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website at www.utube.com. That's e w w t e w b dot com. Thank you very much. Have a good day.